Welcome back. We are currently doing Veil's Blade Quest. We're trying to stop several rituals all over the place where random monsters are appearing. Yeah, you can see this ritual oh, going on here. Uh, all oh. in the effort to try and find a certain Nopon. Not great. What's not great? This ritual. It's entirely unlike the previous ones. I can tell they really mean to summon something terrifying. It not look any different to Tora. Yeah, but somewhere inside I can feel it. I believe Vale. We need to stop them and quick. Oi! You lot, run now! Leave here at once, everyone! Damn it! What's going on there? They've all been hypnotized! They can't even hear us from you! Oh, go there. We in middle of holy, holy right. No matter who you are, me not let you interfere. Holy right, my ass! If you don't stop this instant, you'll all be killed. That wonderful. That would be certain first step to rebirth in New World. Ugh, idiot. Too far up his own ass to listen. Everyone, over there! The prodigal daughter we've been looking for! Sorry, old man, but we'll be needing her back. Such action ill-advised. Right reach climax any moment now. Girl about to become offering for his dark majesty. I will not stand idly by! <laughs> you dead set on standing our way? Want trouble? We happy to oblige! Your corpses also become offering to hasten coming of new world. Feast eyes are dark majesties. Come, Dark Majesty, make world your plaything right for the Huh? Watch out! We'll have to kick that rampaging thing into the middle of next week and get everyone to safety. Fully agree. It might be a big job, though. Someone's gotta do it. If we leave it like this, it might not stop till the whole world is in ruin. <laughs> no need for alarm. I am a blade of darkness, aren't I? My weapon arm has been raring to go for a good long while now. With mine arms, I will take you exactly where you belong. In hell to rot. Oh my. Let's Should I say start the battle, three. please? Are we gonna, like, make her an offering? I expected it to be the main guy, though. Why is this easier than the spider in the previous part? That's strange. Mimir? What happened to Ritual? It got cancelled. It's no big loss. You could never hope to change the world that way anyway. All you were doing is throwing your lives away. You came here to find you on your mother's orders. You made your mom sick with worry, and you caused no end of hassle to me and mine. Hope you're sorry. We are Nopon. With strength for Nopon, we can save our rest. That is what we believed. They said we can change the world, and we believed we can do anything. But it was mistake in the end. We sorry. Hey, I don't want to hear it. 
Should be apologizing to your mother, not to me. M my mama, bud? Get it now. Not saying you can't rebel. But if you're gonna, you have to be aware of the consequences and be ready to take responsibility. Otherwise, you're nothing but a snotty kid acting out. Alright? Alright. Well, if it's alright, then hurry up and let's mosey on home. Make sure you get there, okay? Alright then, so let's head back to Moradin. Skip travel, Moradin. I expected this to last a bit longer, by the way. Feels like this is going to be it. So we want that. Loading, apparently. Yes, yes. Let's rest the spell. A spell. Let's get going. Bimin. Mama Pon. Go on now. It's okay. Mama Pon. Mimin, sorry. Sorry for make Mama Pon worry. There, there. Mama Pon just glad you okay. Mimin not hurt anywhere. No, Mimin healthy as Amu, thanks to Miss Vale and others. Ah, oh, that good. That really good. Mama Pon? Mimin was wrong. Mimin blame problems on others, run away when should have stayed. Mimin should have just talk with Mama Pon. It not entirely fault of Mimin. Mama Pon also could have listened to what Mimin say more carefully. This lesson, I learned from friend here. Hmm. Hmm. Being a parent looks great, eh? I guess. Everyone in this world has ties, even if it's just to one person. Caring for that person is a good thing. Just like with me and my driver. Hmm. A nice lesson all round. So I imagine we're done with Vale now then. So let's do a double check here. Then if we are, we'll move on to the next one. I'll be a one-blade army soon enough. Hmm. That might be something. Yeah, I think that's worth investigating there. So talk to the old lady at Future Crafts and Fonset Etheria. Maybe there may be something. Maybe. So we'll just double check. Well, it doesn't really matter which one we go to there. Why have two fast travel points that close to each other, by the way? Like, seriously, what's the point? Spread them out a little. Phew. That was a slog. Yes, we want the Let fabrics, don't we? Here's the fabrics. Is it you? Hey, these are some pretty snazzy fabrics you've got here. Oh, are you interested in my wares, my dear? Mm, not exactly. Just thought they looked kind of cool. To hear young people admire my works is what makes all the trouble of weaving them worthwhile. Are these hard to make, then? Would you like to try your hand at it? Just thinking. Pretty nice style going on, but not quite up to the standards I'm really after. <laughs> oh, you're a cheeky one. That does it. I'm teaching you. Drop by my house whenever you have the time, you hear? Well, oh, thanks. Oh, looks like I'm going to try my hand at a spot of weaving. I wouldn't have pegged you as a weaver, but it could be fun. Hmm, fair enough then. Get that sorted. We did it here. <laughs> weaving failed. I'd imagine there's not much else going on there with Vale then, so we'll count that as done. So, next up, Vale is done. So back to Agate. I hope I'll live up to your expectations. Because we were partway through your quest, weren't we? So let's see here. I still need to do Ursulus. It's like so. Where were we in this? Meet Mizzy Mizzy, the jeweler at Argentum Trade Guild. Ah, yes, of course. That's Argentum Trade Guild. Mizzy Mizzy. 
and it'll be lovely. That's such lovely music. Meh, meh. Long journeys make Tora tired. Where to, Master Pawn? Where is Mizzy Mizzy? Miz me, Miz me, or something like that. So it's going to be up then, based on what we can see on the screen right now. Make sure just look at the marker on, on the actual compass. It's pointing up. That'd be a big hint as to where to go. So up, up, up still. Right, this floor apparently somewhere out here. Oh my. Where? The. Aha! Mizzy Mizzy! You're Missy Mizzy. Hello there. General Kun We're here because Diggy and Diggy said. Oh, friend is Agat. You know my name? Me here from Diggy Diggy. See you search for a new mineral or some such. Exactly. It's always been my dream to discover a brand new type of mineral. Normally, Missy Mizzy have a policy of refuse appraisal for walk ins, but. Diggy Diggy vouch for you, so he make exception. Please n no hesitate to bring minerals if you find any. Me appraise for free, and even pay a little something for it if friends bring something good. Hey, how generous. Why so surprised? Stingy Nopon is rarity these days. Master Tora, I think you meant the opposite of what you said. Mizzy Mizzy not speak to you. Friend Agate is exception, he said. Thank you again. I hope you like appraising stones, because I know I'll be bringing you lots. But first, we'll have to find them. The rare minerals for deposits all over the world. Oh god. Do I literally have to do that? Friends want mineral appraisal? Yes. Oh my god, I have to find these. Really? Oh my god, this is going to take forever. Oh my god, I'm going to do that in between the parts. So, oh god, right, okay, so we're not doing agates yet. Because I, I just looked at it on the wiki, it's like, yeah, it's like, oh my god, I have to find loads. Like, there's different prospecting levels I have to do. Oh my god, that's going to take forever. That's annoying, that one. Right, so, Gorg. Got it. I give you my all. So what I might do is like apparently it's like it, it's like the third stage which we're on there. Search each region for new types of mineral and have Mizzy Mizzy appraise them for you. I may just skip that step in terms of videos, and it's like because then it's search for a new mineral in a Titan in a land which is yet explored by others. I may skip that step, that sort of situation, and just skip to part five of this quest, which is investigate the cliffs in the womb hollow in the land of Bolifer. Just because seems to be the correct thing just just save us time sort of thing right so let's see here oh dear god it's gonna take forever to do that so what we got here what do you need speak to gorg at the inn in tantal after gorg's are heart to heart so right tantal we need to go to the inn so tantal here's the So much messing around with these, isn't it? Let's rest the spell. Let's rest. Let's get going. Oh, hello. Huh? Are you seriously suggesting we stop here today? Yeah. Is there a problem? Um, hello. This kind of boring, lame location totally saps my girl power. What is girl power, and what it got to do with location of inn? Girl power is a girl's driving force. Girl power is what grants me my awesomeness in battle. If girl power gets too low, well, life is no longer worth living. Huh? It that important? But these inns are pretty much the same, Cora. It's the same old thing, wherever you go. You do sometimes exaggerate things. I never exaggerate. It's hard to even take proper care of your skin in a place like this. Mi 
Hydra, you know this. I've noticed you've been shrinking into the background lately, like a little wallflower. Wallflower? You mean, no one notices me? Ah, uh, that came out wrong. All I mean is, you could use a little boost in the girl power department. Rex, you're a guy. Don't tell me you haven't noticed that Mithra is lacking a little something. What? Answer carefully, Rex. Huh? Um... I mean... <laughs> How can I, um... Uh, Rex looks like he's gonna blub. Wouldn't wanna be you. Nia, maybe we should step in to prevent an escalation. Huh? I I'll pass. Getting in between those two right now would be suicide. Let Charlotte handle it. Uh, nah. Putting the Zekinator in the mix would only exacerbate the situation, eh? Now he gets himself away with us. Then we'll just observe. It's just a bit of banter. How bad can it get? Come on, Mithra. Isn't it time you got a new outfit? Admit it, when was that moth-eaten thing last in fashion? 500 years ago, that's when... Moth-eaten? Well, at least I've got some clothes on. What you're wearing wouldn't cover the head of a goose. <laughs> That's rich coming from you. That look in your face, you know I'm right. You want to see who's got girl power? It's on! Bring it! <laughs> yeah? You bring it. Let's say the loser has to, um, do a little dance for everyone. Well, think you can handle it? I can handle it. But Cora, this is practically a done deal. You really want to go there? You bet. It's totally a done deal. I'm looking forward to kicking your butt. Hey, guys. Do you really think this is a good idea? You're getting a bit aggressive. Shut, Shut up, up, Rex. Rex. Got it. Okay, let's do this. See you at 1800. You'd better go and work on your girl power. Cora, don't underestimate me. I'll show you. I know the score. See you there. What? All right, then we'll do that one instead. If I can. Okay, screw objectives. Go to the table at the inn. Start crying me for his girl power contest. Alright then. Oh. Oh, I see you haven't run away yet. Well done, I'm proud of you. Au contraire, my little croissant. It is I who am proud of you. I thought you'd be turning tail at the threat of taking on my relentless girl power. You better not underestimate me, me, Cora. You're the one that's going to be routed, or rooted, but now you want to go with it, by my awesome girl power. <laughs> well, since we've agreed that we're going to put our girl power to the test, we need to decide how. Indeed, we must. Actually, I haven't given much thought. Oh, how, okay, how about this? We'll get a few people to act as judges. It'll be their job to decide who's got the most girl power. What's going on with your hair? And it'd be our job to each persuade them we have more of it than the other one does. Does that sound fair to you? Oh, absolutely. I love girl talk. I'm very confident about this. Okay, let's grab someone walking by, and then the real battle can begin. Brace yourself, Mithra. What? This is a piece of cake. Okay. Okay, first up. And so, thanks to the right, beautiful yeah, Mithra, okay. the tale continued. Nia, yeah, just the person. You're right on time. Hey, Cora, Mithra, uh, what do you mean by that? Dare I even ask? We're having a showdown. 
I want to determine who's got the most girl power. A girl power off. Ah, that. So you're going ahead with it for real. Just take a seat here, will you? Now tell us, who has the most girl power, Mithra or me? You want me to, um, I guess it's fine, I have time. Okay, let's get to it. Look at, look at Neo with, her, like, her legs. But how are you exactly going to take each other on, exactly? Oh, we thought we'd just try girl talk first. Just tell us who's got the most girly talk in terms of content and delivery. Got it. <laughs> Seriously, Neo's legs. So, for the first topic, um, it, it's a bit basic, but how about favorite food? Yeah, sounds good. Let's get started at last. So, Nia, tell me, what is your favorite food, exactly? Oh, I'm on the spot now. I guess, um, cream, orange, para paratha? Oh, really? Didn't think you'd have such adorable tastes. I don't care. I just eat stuff I like. I'm just surprised, that's all. Thought you'd be more of a meat and fish sort of girl. No, that's a bit boring for me. So, Nia, I'd like to ask you something. Fill your boots. What do you think of Dromark? I mean, as a man. Cat. Catman? Man cat? Hey, where'd that come from? Oh, we're talking about food. That's just so weird. But when girls get together, this is the stuff we really want to know, Nia. Kind of girls only banter is an important component of girl power, Nia. Oh no, I, I wasn't just trying to win or anything like that. Just really interested in you, Nia. Like, he's always following you around like, my lady, my lady. I just kind of thought, what's up with that? Honestly, I don't really give it much thought. He wakened and just started talking to me like that, so what? But I mean, you must have noticed that he's a man or a um, male, I mean. I'm joined at the hip, but that just makes me think of him as a butler or a parent or something. He's a bit of a nag sometimes, but he's just looking out for me, you know? Hey, why am I telling you all this? Enough. Go to my room. Oh, I was just getting good. As your judge walked out, I guess this one's a draw. Yeah, agreed. Okay, let's try another bout. What's the hot topic right now? And so, thanks to the beautiful right, yeah. Mithra, okay. oh, yeah, tale right. continued. All right, then. Do I have enough girls talk to carry on this? Hmm, it's kind of quiet. Looks like everyone's just hanging back in their rooms. Well, I may as well pass the time, Mithra. Why don't you ask me what my favorite food is? Okay, well, Cora, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is, wait for it, Blossom Custard. I like the little white flowers inside, and it has the uh, appealing wobbly texture to it. It's smooth and sweet when it hits your tongue. Yeah, I don't think it'd be hyperbole to say that foods like Blossom Custard boost one's girl power by 1,000. Hey, come on, you're exaggerating again. Huh? Well, how about you, Mithra? For me, it's gotta be Cloud Sea Crab Sticks. Seriously. Yeah, crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. If you ask me, it's the best way to get the full flavor of Cloud Sea Crab. No, 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 come on, you can't seriously. Crab Sticks? Really? They're just a bit... But to be honest, they're the kind of thing that brings your girl power down instead of boosting it. Hey, what's wrong with cloud seed crab sticks? They're lovely. Cora, don't you think your crazy over sweet things is a bit, uh, well, basic? Well, in my honest opinion, they're a lot better than fishy old crab sticks. I think we can both agree I won this round. I've got the most girl power. I think not. I hardly think we can declare a winner without a judge. This wasn't really a proper test, just a bit of a chit-chat. Can't just make up rules like that. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hm. It's not like anyone's going to show up, though. But we need to settle this. Flip a coin. Two whole hours passed. No way. It's just having so much fun. And so, thanks to the right, beautiful yeah, okay. Mithra, oh, yeah, tale right. continued. Why did Praxis stop being part of this? Hello, Mithra. Hello, Korra. What are Amitha and Cora doing? Poppy, you turned up at just the right time. As it so happens, Cora and I are facing off to see who has the most girl power. We'd like to ask you to judge. Understood. Poppy here to help. Poppy's just the sort of... to give us an impar impartial measurement of our girl power. 
Okay, we can talk about some real girl stuff now. Who we're into. That's what it's all about, huh? Or can't you change it up a bit? I'm obsessed with this topic. How about you, Poppy? I can Poppy's legs are just straight out. Hey, I'd be pretty curious to hear how you'd answer that, Poppy. Poppy, not really sure what Corey is talking about. We're telling each other what a special someone is, Poppy. I mean, like, who they, who do you like? Poppy likes everyone. Uh, no, that's not what she means. Poppy think girl power have other aspect, like organizing life and fulfilling goals. Poppy have extensive subroutines and software libraries for making life successful. Besides on criteria like task completion, punctuality, and efficiency, Poppy have much girl power. Uh, I guess she's right. Uh, yeah, I have a bit of a blind spot for that sort of thing. So according to Poppy's calculations, winner is Poppy. Please applaud. Hey, can't settle it just like that. Mm, yeah, we've got no hope of winning against Poppy's robotic brain. Looks like another draw. Yep. Alright then. Alright, so for the next topic. And so, thanks to the beautiful right, yeah. Mithra, okay. Oh yeah, tale right. continued. How many do I need in this? Are we done? Is this the last one? Oh, Mithra and Cora, could you be in the midst of your big girl off? Oh, Pandoria. We need you to judge us on our girl power driven chatting skills. Sounds fun, I'm game. So, what do we talk about? So far, we've done favourite foods and romance and talk. Oh yeah, romance and talk, huh? So, do you two have a certain special someone in your sights? Oh, well, that's certainly an interesting topic, but there's no one right now. Mm, same here. Oh, Mithra, you're a closed book, aren't you? I think there is someone, a certain... No, there's no one, I swear. About you, Pandoria, who do you like? Yeah, Fessa. What about Zeke? You think that could go somewhere? No, I don't think of the prince like that. He's so pig-headed and sensitive, nothing gets through to him. I think you must have been paying a, a fair bit of attention to him to make an observation like that. Come on, what do you really think about the old Zeke and Spill it! No, I won't. I won't tell you. There she goes. Pandoria's surprisingly shy, huh? Well, we've lost another judge. I guess it's another draw. Oh well, can't be helped. It's nearly the next day and we still haven't run out of things to talk about. And so, thanks to the right, beautiful yeah, okay. Mithra, oh, yeah, tale right. continued. I'm still going, so it's like, jeez, how far does this go? If we just keep drawing, we're never going to be able to determine a winner. Cora, Mithra, have you two been here chatting the whole time? Actually, we're trying to work out which one of us has the most girl power. Hey, Praxis, could you adjudicate for us? Wait a sec, are you sure we should ask Praxis? I mean, maybe we should ask someone who's a bit more girly. Yes, perhaps she's not the best candidate. But being honest, she's probably not up to the task. Hey! You have to keep going on and on about it, you know? You know, if it's girl power you're after, I'll have you know I've got plenty. More, in fact. Huh? No way. But you're so untidy, and always losing things in your mess. And when you eat the food, it goes everywhere. Ugh. Girl power's all about waltzing around like a little butterfly. No, it's about being true to yourself. Don't you think that means you don't have much girl power? Yeah, yeah, and I really think you should stop leaping into the bath like you always do. Tell you what, you two can just figure out a winner amongst yourselves. A couple of jerks. I've had enough. Maybe we did say a bit too much there. Maybe we should tinker a little something later to try and make it up. Yeah, I think so. Still going. So the thing that everyone's talking about right now is... And so, thanks to the right, beautiful yeah, Mithra, okay. oh, yeah, the tale right. continued. It's like, really? No one's coming past. Oh, waiting around's no good. Let's go and look for someone. Oh, hello, you two. Are you taking little const... Constitutional? Is that what we're doing? 
Why, yes. Let's take a s little stroll at night in the air. I ain't sleep. Huh? Really? Bridget, I'd like to ask you a favour. Do you mind chatting with us for a bit? And then telling us which one of us has the most girl power? Oh, a thrilling contest, I'm sure. Certainly. I'd be happy to join in. Thank you. Well, since we have Bridget here, should we talk about beauty? Yeah, that's a topic I'm pretty confident on. My cleanse, tone, and moisturizing routine takes some beating, I tell you. And I'm always practicing throwing cute poses in front of the mirror. I may say, that's a rather narrow way to define beauty corner. Not sure beauty is something you practice, it's something you radiate from within. I don't think I really need to go to those lengths to look good. I always aim for new heights of beauty, it's like one of my life goals. Ever onward, always pushing the very boundaries of beauty. Certainly, it's good to set yourself goals. A little healthy rivalry doesn't hurt either. Of course, the rivalry should always be handled graciously. So I'd say this one's a draw, girls. Huh? What? I think you both need to grow spiritually a little before you can really hold forth about beauty. Yep, once again, it's a draw. Um, wait for it. And so, thanks to the We're still going. Oh, yeah, Hail right. Continued. I heard from Nia about your little contest. Are you still at it? Yeah, it's all good. Maybe you can judge our girl power for us, Morag. Well, I only came out here to get some water, but of course, why not? Morag, do you ever desire a bit of romance? I'm a soldier of the Ardanian Empire. Romance would divert valuable time away from perfecting my military arts. Do you get sick of all that fighting? No, as it happens. Nothing beats cultivating one's character together with one's friends. It's an enjoyable and worthwhile activity. This is how I've always looked at it. Oh, like, you take life too seriously. Don't you ever just want to take a break? No, not at all. Oops. If you are Ardanian army blades, you'd be living a much more focused life, I can tell you. Ardanian blades would never stay up half the night in frivolous chatter. They'd rest up for the next day. First-rate fighter never lets up on her training. It supplies all the more while you're young. You need to be strict with your routine and rid yourself of bad habits. Um, more? You got your point across pretty clearly there, Morak. Thanks so much. No, I haven't finished yet. You two need to reaffirm your commitment to the warrior life. You should sit there quietly and listen. And don't even think about running off. What? Oh dear. Uh, this is actually getting kind of stale, but I can't pull out now. And so, thanks to the still going? Okay. I mean, that's as far as I can go, right? I mean, I know I have other girl talk somewhere else, but... I'm really quite tired now. Yeah, me too. It's exactly the sort of time when you need to be able to perk yourself up. Oh, there's no one here. Why don't we talk about fashion or something to pass the time? Sure, why not? About accessories. I love accessories. I mean, I like wearing them, of course, but just looking at them is fun, too. What kind of things do you like, Cora? Mm, I guess I really like... Um, I'm really into flowers. Flowers are so pretty, cute, and stylish. I kind of heal whenever I look at them. And they're great worn in the hair. Don't you think that's a little childish? Huh? Childish or not? I like what I like. There's no changing that. I'd say that's a win to me. That's not fair. I'm cuter, I should win. You're a poor loser, Cora. There's no one here to judge. Can't decide who won with no judge. Let's call it another draw, then. I'm starting to look like we might not be able to find a winner. Imagine this might be the point where it stops. Ah, it's morning already, and I've got a real humdinger of a zinger for you. It'll perk you up like hot java. Yup. It's... And so, thanks to the right, beautiful yeah. okay. Mithra... Oh, yeah, Hail right. Continued. Boom. Hmm. Cat got your tongue. If we want to settle this, we really need to sharpen up our charm skills. I guess we have to. Well, the big showdown's tomorrow. You better bring your A-game. No fear, we'll settle this for sure. Right, so... What I'm actually going to do is make that a um, place to end this part. In the next part, I would have 
brought some other characters into the group who actually do have some more stuff for Geltalk. So we'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.